Hello everybody, it is Indy Meets Disney and we are here at Epcot today. Yep, we are here to bring to you some footage from the Flower and Garden Festival. Um, we love this festival, we love the food, and we love the topiaries, all the flowers. So we can't wait to show you what we're going to eat and show you some of the beautiful topiaries around here. Yeah, it's a beautiful day here at Epcot. We're going to have some fun, so come along with us on this journey. From the pineapple promenade we got this spicy hot dog so it literally is a spicy hot dog on the inside of that hot dog and then it's covered with a pineapple chutney and then there's plantain chips on top of it and then it looks like i'm not sure what the sauce is it's drizzled on top of it it wasn't described to us um so we're gonna have to dig in and try that part and see exactly what that is um, but this cost eight dollars from the pineapple promenade stand are you ready for a spicy hot dog mm -hmm. Are you pre drooling on for this? I'm gonna let you dig in first. So I'm wearing a baby right now. I don't want to drip hot dog juice on her. So this looks like a mess. <laughs> Usually messy hot dogs are pretty scrumptious. So I'm baking on that. I'm really excited about the pineapple chutney on the top of it. I'm a little bit nervous about the spiciness of the hot dog. This is really good. It does have a kick. It is spicy. Oh dear. But that chutney on there is really good. Um, it's got great flavor in that chutney. Um, but the spiciness, woo, it is super spicy. If you yeah, do not like spicy food, this is spicy. You I will actually not didn't like get a bite of hot dog, dog yet, so I better keep going. <laughs> oh, oh my, that is spicy. It, it, keep, it keeps intensifying in my mouth. Um, but the, the hot dog is good, the chutney is good. Um, it's kind of a sweet chutney. Um, the mango does come through on the chutney. Um, I wish the hot dog had more of a snap to it. Um, the sauce, I think, is kind of a spicy mayonnaise. Um, it does have like a little bit of onion on there as well, but it is super spicy. If you're yeah. not into spicy, you will not like this hot dog. Yeah, so I um, the first bite that I had was just bun and then all the toppings on it. And I was like, I don't get any much of a spice from it. So that part kind of cools it off a little bit the pineapple chutney. Um, I'm surprised that the plantain chips that are on there, like I didn't get a crunch from them. Did you get any crunch? I got a little bit of a crunch, but not as much as I would anticipate. I was expecting I that, which is okay. It's probably gotten a little soggy from like the mm -hmm. um, mayonnaise sauce that's on there. They probably yeah. soggy up a little bit. But. Yeah. Um, and then when I went back in for my second bite, which included the hot dog, and it was pretty much just hot dog, that's where the spice is and that's where the kick is. So um, yeah, that's intense. $8. Would you pay for this hot dog again for $8? I don't think it's worth $8. No, I think this is the first disappointment that I've had here at the festival. Um, so I would say this is a no for me. Yeah, I don't think I would get it again, but for eating it for now, I mean, it's good. Mm -hmm. But you'd want to have a glass of water or milk <laughs> nearby to be able to help you cool off from this one. Yeah. Also from the pineapple promenade stand is this frozen desert violet lemonade. It costs $4.50 and it's a non-alcoholic drink. 
All right, next up we have this Desert Violet Lemonade uh, drink. We had this last year and really enjoyed it. So we're gonna give it a go this year and see if it's mm -hmm. still got that pizzazz that it had last year. Yeah, we remember having this and really enjoying it. And I would also say that it's very Instagrammable. It's just really pretty with that color and the flower on top, so. I'm glad we did it in this order. We had the spicy hot dog first from the pineapple promenade. And then we got the <laughs> desert violet lemonade. Um, and it's really refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's got great flavor. Nice and cool. Mm -hmm. um, a little sweet to it, but not overly sweet. Yeah, um, yeah it's nice, unique um, flavor. Not one that you're like, are normally um, would get anywhere else. It's, um, oh, it's kind of hard to describe. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking, I don't know how I would describe the flavor of it. You taste the lemonade slightly, but you taste another like fruity-ish yeah. flower, florally yeah, flavor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, it's a floral flavor. Yeah. It's like drinking a aromic. flower. Aromatic. A romantic? No, aroma. Oh. <laughs> Are you having some romance as we're drinking this? No. 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 <laughs> Not in public, so. <laughs> but it is really good. Um, yeah, I would, we'll probably come aromatic. back Aromatic. That's what Aromatic. Like. There yes. we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think it's definitely a win here at the Flower and Garden Festival. And we'll probably come and get it again next time. Okay, from the Flavorful Kitchen, we got the cookie butter, worms and dirt drink. And it costs four seventy-five. So it looks pretty interesting. I don't know if I've ever had cookie butter before, but we're going to get this a try. All right, we're ready to dig into this cookie butter, worms, and dirt worm, shake, yes. if you will. Yeah, we just got one worm. <laughs> one worm. So. Okay, so that's what cookie butter tastes like. I don't think I've ever had cookie butter before in my life. So I was expecting to be just chocolatey, but it's not. It tastes like cookie butter. <laughs> yeah, it's very strong, but a very unique very almost kind of bitter taste to it no like it could have alcohol in it but it doesn't it's yeah. not alcoholic yeah it almost tastes like alcohol drink but we know there's no alcohol in it you no. know it tastes kind of that way um i don't know how i feel about this drink you know this isn't refreshing at all no. um so it's not like one i would go get just like cool off of the hot summer sun um so, it makes me want to go and get a fruit loop shake yeah maybe perhaps <laughs> or that violet uh violet <laughs> Uh, shake our yes. sun that we had earlier. Yeah. Um, Maybe we'll pass this on to a stranger. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of this. <laughs> I definitely would not get this again. Kind of disappointed in this. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. This is definitely a no for me. Yeah, me too. From the Farmer's Feast booth, we have this char grilled bison ribeye with creamy leek fondue, roasted carnival cauliflower, uh, Roman misco, and port wine goat cheese butter. And this runs eight bucks. So this looks great. So hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. Ready to dive in and try this out. All right, we're going to dive into this bison dish. See how it tastes. So I'll try a piece of bison first. So bison is a very lean piece of meat. Sometimes it gets real dry. So we're going to try this out. Mm. That is the opposite of dry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's really moist. Yeah, got a nice very smoky flavor flavorful. to it. Mm -hmm. mm, super moist. Oh my gosh, yeah, that that's is delicious. Great. That is so very good. do you think that's the butter on it? So there's a point, port be. wine goat cheese butter. And I feel like maybe that's the yeah. flavor that's coming through on that bison. It's either grilled or they could smoke it or something, but it's got a great oh flavor gosh. to it. It's like a flavor I just want to like savor in my mouth and have in my mouth for a long time. <laughs> mm, that's great. Okay, so now we're going to try the creamy leek fondue. Oh, it's very cheesy. I mean, I guess it's a fondue, so it makes sense, huh? Pretty good. Uh, that reminds it's got me big of like, chunks of the leek in there mm -hmm. um, mixed with the cheese. It's a really creamy. Kind of reminds me of like a spinach and artichoke dip, minus yeah. the spinach, minus the artichoke, but add leeks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that same consistency mm -hmm. that you would think of yeah. a spinach artichoke dip. Slimy, kind of creamy, but like really delicious. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the meat with that would be a great touch too. Mm -hmm. um, then the cauliflower. It doesn't seem like there's anything too exciting about it, but. That's a really flavorful. It's very flavorful. Seasoned really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm a big fan of all of this. Yeah, this whole meal is really good. Yeah, so. And once again, this is, I think, a really nice portion. 
eight dollars for eight bucks yeah compared to that hot dog that we had earlier i think this is this is a much better choice mm -hmm. um much higher quality meal um with the meat this is a lot better piece of meat than a hot dog um <laughs> it's yes. cooked better got a lot better flavor here mm -hmm. it's not killing your palate with that spiciness of the hot dog this is a uh, 10 times better this than that. This is great. I would this great. get this again, huh? Yeah, totally. Yeah, and it's actually new to the festival this year in 2022. So hopefully they will get great reviews about it and bring it back next year. So Yeah, definitely a win. And this one may be one of the most unique things that we'll be trying. So this is also from Farmer's Feast. So this is a goat cheese cream sickle pop. So it's goat cheese, cream, orange cream, olive oil, and has an olive oil cake cranberry sauce and praline. This runs $4.75. So I'm excited to try this out, see what um, it's all about, and report back to you guys. Now we are going to give a try to this goat cheese popsicle, creamsicle pop. So it's not ice cream, don't be confused. <laughs> I was confused. I thought, oh, we gotta eat this thing start melting, it's but nope. It's a wiggly guy. So I think we're gonna eat it with a spoon instead of off the stick. So I'm afraid what will happen if we don't. Are you going to give a try to the cake first? Try this little cake first. There's an olive oil cake. So there's all kinds of little like syrups are, and little sauces all around. So I don't know if you need to dip the cake in that or if it's just the cake by itself. Mm -hmm. Tastes well. I'm going to try the cake by itself just to see. Yep. We got a fuzzy baby on our hands. Thank you. Yep, so I'm going to try it with the orange creamsicle sauce and then the, what did we say this was? Cranberry? Cranberry sauce, yeah. Right. So the cake by itself actually isn't too bad. But I imagine if you dip it in the sauce, it's probably going to be even better. Yeah, I find the cake to be dry. It's a little dry, yeah. Some mm -hmm. sort of sauce would help with that. I did have the, the sauce with it, and it was still dry. But the sauce helps, though. So. I'm going to go into my goat cheese like, creamsicle. So, I love goat cheese. I love goat cheese, so I'm really excited to try this. So it's like dusted with like pecans, pralines. Um, and it has a little bit of orange cream on the bottom of it. I really like the cranberry sauce and I really like the orange sauce that's on the outside. Those are both have a really good flavor. Big fan of those um, with the cake. So I haven't got to the goat cheese yet, but just those side items kind of on the outside. Those are both really good. Well, you need to get the goat cheese soon because I'm about to eat it all <laughs> if you don't. It's really good. It's got great flavor. Um, I'm trying to decide if I would like call this a dessert or not. Hmm. I'd say it's almost like a cheesecake. Not maybe not as sweet as a cheesecake, but it has that consistency of a cheesecake. Yeah. Really a dense cheese. Um, just not that sweetness, but it is really good. I'm a fan of this. I would get this again. Yeah, I would definitely get this again too. Yeah. I think dipping it in some of the sweeter sauce on the side of this orange sauce. Mm-hmm. Gives it a really nice flavor. Yeah. Takes my taste buds to Flavor Town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so we, we recommend this one. Yeah, this is definitely a win. All right, so it's going to wrap up part one of our flower and garden coverage at Epcot. You'll notice we're back at home because things got pretty crazy while we were there. We did. So we ended up being there a night that Epcot completely flooded. We were walking at one point with water up to our ankles and another point with water all the way up to our knees. So um, it was intense and we obviously didn't get a chance to close our, our coverage that day. So, But it was a memorable experience that we will never forget. That's for sure. <laughs> well, the Skyliner ended up getting closed down yes. because of lightning. We had to carry the stroller through like a magnificent uh, stream that was <laughs> flooding through the property. I th thought I'd see Noah and the arcs would go by. It was just crazy madness. It was. Um, so, but we still had a great time at Epcot that day, even mm -hmm. though some things got cut short. Um, and we hope you enjoyed this video uh, and our coverage of the Flower and Garden. It was a great time for us. Yes, we. I love all the different topiaries that are there. And the food is one of one of our favorite festivals. I honestly can't put my finger on which one of my favorite festivals at Epcot, but this one's a great one. Mm -hmm. um, so we had some really good food and we had a couple of things that were not very good today. Um, I Especially that cookie butter ended up, we each took a sip of it and we threw it in the trash right away. So <laughs> I was like, should we just give it to a stranger? Nah, let's just get it away. <laughs> I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, but it was pretty terrible. Um, but then the, um, what was that meat that we had? The bison, the that bison was amazing. It was so good. Yeah, I could eat another plate of that. That's for sure. That was so, that was so good. good. And the goat cheese um, creamsicle. That was mm -hmm. delicious. Yep. 
So two there's winners, a lot of great things. Uh, for sure. Yeah. The hot dog, not so much. And then yeah, that I enjoyed it. Okay. violet lemonade, that was great as yeah, well. Yeah. So, so, so look forward to our second part of yes. coverage coming out Saturday. We'll release that. So look forward to that. Um, but for now, we're at this video up. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this episode of us um, being at the Flower and Garden Festival, part one. Um, take a moment, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube family, and until next time, we will see, see you real soon. soon. Bye, guys. Bye.